Hey guys, I'm Kari. I'd like to use Toreba this time. Have you ever used him in RTA? I used him sometimes. I think the last time I used him was about two seasons ago. I used him as a trap, not as a damage dealer at that time. I used him in all HP, despair, revenge. His passive is that the more he loses his HP, the less damage he takes. So usually players use critical damage for him in slot 4. And I think most of the time they use attack for slot 2 and slot 4. I used all HP and he never got knocked down no matter what monster attacked him. This time I'd like to use him in a general way. But I want to use him with max resistance by using resistance leader with him because he'll be defeated soon. He's not easily defeated in simple damage battles, but if he gets defense break, he'll be defeated immediately. He's not very strong against Masha or Fire Monkey, but just by setting him to max resistance, he'll be much stronger. So this time I'll always use the leader skill of Gyo or Burial. And this time, he's built with attack, attack, critical damage, so he can be used as a damage dealer as well. With these stats, I can kill the enemy monster with one shot after defense break by my monsters. I'd like to talk about his rating in RTA. He's not seen on RTA much these days. However, he's not completely useless. If you use him, it's best to use him as a counter to your opponent Leo. In that case, you can use him with speed plus zero. If you want to use him in a turn 2 team, I recommend you to use build which I introduced before. Or you can use him in a way like this. As for his runes, I think it's basically better to use Vampire and Revenge. But if you think he'll be defeated soon, you can use Will. He can also use Violent, but I think it's easier to use if he can heal himself. Okay, so let's start today's video.